This is Taking Stock on Bloomberg. I'm Pim Fox. My next guest says he's got some clues to cracking the Chinese business market. Ryan Frankel is the chief executive. He's also the co-founder of Verbalize It. It's a company that offers translation services in 140 languages. He's got a team of more than 18,000 professional translators worldwide. Ryan, a pleasure. Great to see you again. Can you bring us up to date on Verbalize It for those that have not been following the fortunes of the company? Sure. So since we last spoke, Pim, uh, we expanded from live interpretation over the phone to really help businesses all over the world communicate with a global customer base. So what we found was that live interpretation was just the tip of the iceberg. In fact, it oftentimes happened after the, the business had engaged with the customer, but they needed to capture the interest first. So we've been helping companies localize their website, translate their mobile applications, create marketing collateral in different languages so that they can better acquire new customers. And, uh, and we've done that across 140 different languages. 140 different languages. Let's take one language just for a moment, Mandarin. Chinese. What have you been doing there? It's one of the most complicated languages out there. And when you graph the rate of internationalization, particularly in China, amongst businesses attempting to acquire Chinese consumers uh, and Chinese citizens traveling abroad, that rate is vastly outpacing the rate of language improvements. And so you see this huge gap between the two. And we've been helping companies bridge that gap by translating all of their content across all mediums of communication. Give us an example. I want to see if there's a non-media example, because I understand the idea of websites and maybe, you know, obviously people know about translating movies and things of that sort, but what about business documents and contracts, things of that? Business documents all the time, negotiations. We've done a couple of M&A opportunities where companies are looking to make acquisitions, supporting hotels when the citizens are actually on the ground and the concierge needs to communicate better with the, with the with their customer. So there's language barriers are truly pervasive, and, uh, and you see multiple um, you see multiple avenues for it. Okay. Now I got to admit that every time you see some kind of translation experience, whether it's learning a language or tra everyone is smiling. Everyone thinks that this is all. But there've got to be some missteps here. I mean, there got to be miscommunication. Otherwise, a company like Verbalizer really wouldn't exist. So we've seen horror stories. A lot really? of times companies will think that uh, machine translation will get them get the job done. Got any, any, you just could give us an example of one because I know you've got some anecdotes. We've got a lot of really good ones where companies will put an email that they've received from uh, a cu customer overseas into Google Translate and they will think it says one thing and it is drastically different. Um, some are quite humorous, some are quite sad, but um, it, it makes getting up every day for work very exciting. All right. So, as I mentioned, 18,000 individuals that you can call on. Yes. Uh, what's the biggest demand? Is it for Chinese language Mandarin, sales? Chinese, and, and Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese. And Brazilian Portuguese. Yes. And is that because those are the areas that you are focused on, or is that just where you see the natural demand? Tons of emerging market activity from businesses down in Brazil. We've got the, uh, the World Cup, the Olympics, a lot of infrastructure development going on, and certainly uh, all the demand in China for, for Mandarin. How does this get priced? Uh, pretty, pretty much per word. So it ranges from 9 to 14 cents a word. So you're talking about having all of your marketing collateral translated for hundreds of dollars. Your entire website can be available in any language you want in a matter of hours or days um, for pennies on, on the dollar what companies are expecting to pay. And can that also then be used for the various social networks such as Twitter and Facebook and all the ways in which people share information? Exactly. So you don't need to be submitting a 500-page document to work with us. You can submit your Facebook advertisement. Uh, you could submit your, tweet, uh, your tweets for translation. Um, there's no minimum requirement. So you can transit all your social media as well. And what about partners? Have you come up with some corporate partners that have made it easier for you to gain new customers? Sure. So we're partners with uh, Rosetta Stone, American, uh, American Airlines, Desk.com, Skype, uh, just to name a few. And uh, it's really enabled us to broaden our own reach. All right. How do you find out what is the best project to take on inside the company, where to allocate the money? Uh, it's pre predominantly demand driven. So we, we get a lot of interest from companies of all shapes and sizes. And uh, we have enough capacity on the translator side to support a pretty broad range of needs right now. All right. I want to thank you very much for bringing us up to date on Verbalize It. Ryan Frankel, he is the chief executive and the co-founder. Coming up...